Hello Aries, it is time for your, goodness, look at that, I said your name and these popped out, alright, um, it's time for your Sunday morning quickie, don't forget guys, I go live every Sunday, 5pm Central Standard Time for free readings, we have 10 of water, I was only going to pull one card, Two of water, one card, Aries, uh, eight of air, and major arcana, love. All right, let's go through this real quick. Your message that I got for you, by the way, is you are causing your own confusion. You know what? Let's see what this says. You are causing your own confusion, Aries. I can't believe I got four cards. <sighs> Aries, what are you going to do to me? Are you, are, you are causing so much extra work, so much extra expenditure of energy. You know this, don't you? You already know this. Ten of water. Universal love, divine connection, centeredness. Oh, this is your advice, by the way. Serenity, peace, oneness, boundaries, and disruption. Truly living in the present. A feeling of divine connection. A time of serenity and ease. Power born of knowledge and understanding. A positive emotional state. The power to consciously project your energy. Say no to disruptive influences, giving life and power to shadows. Whatever it is that you are fearing, you are the one that is giving it life and energy, okay? Whatever this confusion is, this thing that you can't get out of your head about, you're the one that's causing it. You're the one that's keeping you stuck there. Two of water. Intimacy, closeness, trust, commitment, reconciliation, equality, union, codependency, and taking sides. Going beyond infatuation and attraction. Oh, is that what this is about, Aries? You have an infatuation. Are you becoming obsessed? Or are you already? Intimacy, sharing, giving, and communication. Time to forgive and seek reconciliation. A meeting of minds and hearts. Put aside judgments and blame. Cherish all of your loves. Maintain independence and avoid codependence. Avoid taking sides. Two of water represents a relationship that has moved beyond infatuation and physical traction, attraction to one that is built upon a foundation of deeper mutual love, respect, trust, and shared interests and values. This is what you need to focus on, Aries. That is what you need to focus on. Not infatuation, nothing that will lead to codependency. Eight of air. The ego, truth, power, responsibility, consequences, cause and effect, lessons learned and memory. Ego does not always tell the truth. Effect will always follow cause. Time to change your ways. Admit that you made a mistake. Memory is imperfect. So, can you see that okay? Self-justification does not mitigate harm. Consequences are inescapable. We all make mistakes. We are creatures driven by our ego. Our ego is in part our identity. What, what are you doing that is being driven by your ego, Aries? Whatever this is, it's being driven by your ego. It's not real. All right? Whatever this is, you're causing your own confusion because of your own ego. Love. Infatuation. Love for self. Confidence. Love for life and expansion. Express, experience love in all its forms. Love is multifaceted. Your love will shape you or break you. 
A past love re-enters your life, a love that deserves a second chance. Is it love or infatuation? How do you feel about yourself? Honor your body as a temple. Stop making comparisons. Make time to love and nurture yourself. Love and enjoy your uniqueness. Do what makes your heart sing and open your heart to new loves. Okay. <sighs> Aries, you are causing your own confusion and it feels as though you have a love from the past that is trying to enter into your life again. Um, and it is your ego that is allowing this to happen. You need to stop what you are doing, realize what is an infatuation and what is real. Okay? All right, guys, that is your Sunday morning quickie. Maybe I will see you tonight at the live. You know I love you. Peace to you. Ciao. Bye.